chemiosmotic hypothesis of ATP formation. This hypothesis explains on how ATP is formed in mitochondria and in chloroplast. This hypothesis was given by Mitchell. In this diagram, this is a thylakoid and this is the stroma of the chloroplast. This is photolysis complex uh, and it is situated in the inner side of the inner membrane of the thylakoid and this is NADP reductase which is present on the outer side of the outer membrane of the thylakoid. This is PS2, this is PS1. This is F0 protein also known as integral protein or ambidient protein and this is F1 protein all or ATPase. When sunlight falls on photosystems, electrons get excited and during this process electrons are transported from PS2 to PS1 through cytochrome complex. During this process energy is released and that energy is utilized to pump protons from stroma to the lumen. And again this photolysis complex breaks down water molecule into proton, electron and atom of oxygen. So by this two process the concentration of proton is greater than that of stroma. So proton tends to diffuse into stroma from lumen and this is done with the help of F0 protein also known as integral or ambidient protein. During the diffusion of proton from lumen to stroma energy is released and that energy is utilized to form ATP with the help of F1 protein. In this process adenosine diphosphate and inorganic phosphates present in the stroma of the chloroplast combine with each other in presence of F1 protein or ATPase. Utilizing the energy obtained from the diffusion of proton, ATP is formed. In general, ADP plus inorganic phosphate in presence of F1 protein gives ATP. And remember one thing that 3 proton must diffuse from lumen to stroma to form 1 ATP.